The Malyavin calculus, named after Paul Malyavin, extends the calculus of variations from functions to stochastic processes. The Malyavin calculus is also called the stochastic calculus of variations. In particular, it allows the computation of derivatives of random variables. Malyavin's ideas led to a proof that Hormander's condition implies the existence and smoothness of a density for the solution of a stochastic differential equation. Hormander's original proof was based on the theory of partial differential equations. The calculus has been applied to stochastic partial differential equations as well. The calculus allows integration by parts with random variables. This operation is used in mathematical finance to compute the sensitivities of financial derivatives. The calculus has applications in, for example, stochastic filtering, overview and history. Paul Malyavin's stochastic calculus of variations extends the calculus of variations from functions to stochastic processes. In particular, it allows the computation of derivatives of random variables. Malyavin invented his calculus to provide a stochastic proof that Hormander's condition implies the existence of a density for the solution of a stochastic differential equation. Hormander's original proof was based on the theory of partial differential equations. His calculus enabled Malyavin to prove regularity bounds for the solution's density. The calculus has been applied to stochastic partial differential equations. Invariance principle. The usual invariance principle for Lebesgue integration over the whole real line is that, for any real number epsilon, an integrable function f. The following holds this can be used to derive the integration by parts formula since setting f equals gh and differentiating with respect to epsilon on both sides. It implies a similar idea can be applied in stochastic analysis for the differentiation along a cameron martin gersenov direction. Indeed, let be a square integrable predictable process and set if is a Wiener process. The Gersenov theorem then yields the following analogue of the invariance principle, differentiating with respect to epsilon on both sides and evaluating at epsilon equals zero, one obtains the following integration by parts formula. Here, the left-hand side is the Malyavin derivative of the random variable in the direction and the integral appearing on the right-hand side should be interpreted as an Ito integral. This expression also remains true if is not adapted, provided that the right-hand side is interpreted as a Skorokod integral. clark ocon formula One of the most useful results from Malyavin calculus is the clark ocon theorem, which allows the process in the Martingale representation theorem to be identified explicitly. A simplified version of this theorem is as follows. For satisfying which is Lipschitz and such that f has a strong derivative kernel, in the sense that for in c, 0, 1, then where h is the previsible projection of f, which may be viewed as the derivative of the function f with respect to a suitable parallel shift of the process x over the portion t, 1, of its domain. This may be more concisely expressed by much of the work in the formal development of the Malyavin calculus involves extending this result to the largest possible class of functionals f by replacing the derivative kernel used above by the Malyavin derivative denoted in the above statement of the result. Skorokod integral. The Skorokod integral operator which is conventionally denoted delta is defined as the adjoint of the Malyavin derivative thus for u in the domain of the operator which is a subset of for f in the domain of the Malyavin derivative. We require where the inner product is that on vis the existence of this adjoint follows from the Rees representation theorem for linear operators on Hilbert spaces. It can be shown that if u is adapted then where the integral is to be understood in the Ito sense. Thus this provides a method of extending the Ito integral to non-adapted integrands. Applications The calculus allows integration by parts with random variables. This operation is used in mathematical finance to compute the sensitivities of financial derivatives. 
The calculus has applications for example in stochastic filtering.